Welcome to Freshly Grounded episode 248. This episode is with the one and only Adam Afghan, uh, renownedly known as my favorite guest of Freshly Grounded. And um, we just had a right old laugh, didn't we, Adam? Yes. Yeah, he's still here. And uh, now you guys are going to listen to that. But before you do, I haven't mentioned this in a long time. Sorry. I haven't mentioned this in a long time. Why not check us out on Patreon? Give us a little subscribe, £5 a month. And what you get for that, recently, I'll be honest, they haven't been getting a lot. I'm just, this is me being honest. Okay? Now, the reason for that is because what you generally get is you get the episodes early. Uh, Today, we shot the episode today. It's um, 7.41pm, we just finished the episode. I have a dinner at 8pm. It was actually 7.30. And so I'm 11 minutes late for my dinner, but I still have to edit this episode and get it out. Um... So that's that's why this week's been a bit of a mess. However, generally, we film the episodes earlier in the week and then you get it early. So, um, And a bunch of other benefits, like you get early release tickets. Like, for example, the house show sold out in two days and patrons got access to the tickets early. So um, other things like that. And more than anything, you get to support Freshly Grounded. And isn't that heartwarming? It is. It's lo- lovely. Uh, and we appreciate every single one of our patrons. So uh, please do uh, support us. Just head over to patreon.com forward slash freshly grounded. That's patreon.com forward slash freshly grounded. And without any further ado, this is Freshly Grounded episode 248 with the one and only Adam Afghan. And welcome to a Freshly Grounded, the brand new podcast. Well, it's not exactly brand new anymore, is it? Welcome to Freshly Grounded, the podcast that's better created by best friends Faisal and Sam huh? I welcome I said welcome to freshly grounded after that bit created by and after that bit best friends Faisal and Sam really uh, okay, Adam Afghan. Hello. Assalamu alaikum, bro. How are you doing? Salam. Alhamdulillah, I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. Took us a minute. Did We're setting up a few bits and bobs here. Just a little bit, yeah. We're actually filming this on the day that it's being released. We are. Uh, we are. At night time, basically, as well. So 6 it's, p.m., so yeah. not night time. <laughs> yeah, it's early <laughs> evening. It's not night time. 6 p.m. is early evening. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, it's half past 6. That's definitely early evening. Is it? It's evening. I would say it's seven p.m. is evening. What would you call it? Early evening. Early evening is about is... four. No, you're right. <laughs> you're mm. Four. You're right. You said there. six is not early evening. Our four is. What's four then? Four is four is deep in the afternoon. So what's early evening? Where's the early split? evening six for me? Definitely. Early evening six. We... So six. You know what? You remember back in the day, BBC Two. Yeah. Where you used to watch like Simpsons. Yeah. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I never watched any of these. So. I'll leave the podcast. Um, yeah, sorry. I, I, Simpsons me- made me feel sick when I was younger. I'll look at it and I'd feel like I'm going to get nightmares if I watched this. But I do remember the Domino's advert before. <laughs> the Domino. Oh, they yeah. Sky One. I back then, Domino's was a loser brand. Like, but, yeah. Domino's subpar pizza. It- and now look at it, it's way better than Pizza Hut. <laughs> it's, um, Domino's is nice. Um, where would you rate Papa John's Domino's? Okay. If you go to Pizza Hierarchy, Papa we'll start John's- from low to high. Pizza Hierarchy, I'd start with Domino's at top now. And okay. Papa John's would be at the end, <laughs> at the bottom end of it. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. And even the garlic sauce in um, Papa John's is yellow, which I would never that want is, garlic sauce to be a, yellow. That's a bit, yeah. And so then there's only mm. one other pizza place left, which is Pizza Hut, because I don't know any other places. There's three places there, and that's one, two, three. Although I don't condone any of them, really. Pizza Express. Oh, Shop of that course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that is like a bit upper class that compared is, to the rest yeah, of them. yeah. I like Pizza Express because you don't you don't things, feel yeah. so bad after having a Pizza Express. That's very true. I like Pizza Express. You can get spinach on it and stuff, so it makes yeah. it a bit better. Um, what were we you talking know, about? Yeah. You, uh, you know, yeah. when it comes to uh, calorie counting mm-hmm. on these things like pizzas yeah. and stuff, because I've now started being a bit more conscious of calories, and we spoke about calories last we did, episode. We did, we did, we uh, did. How are you, are you still counting calories? I'm, I'm somewhat counting them, but when it comes to pizza, chuck it out the window. It yeah. ruins the whole day. It's a big calorie it's, thing. It's like over. It's going to be over your. I'll eat the whole thing, so it's it's three thousand sort of something. It's mad. It's ridiculous. So uh, when I, when I uh, I only started counting calories about two and a half three months ago, mm-hmm. and so I didn't realize how 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 high a whole Crazy. pizza is. It sounds Massive. silly, but when you when you don't ever go through your whole life ever checking calories. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but yes, insane. It's like I think I, I worked out as like three hundred calories per slice or something. It's insane. But 
my point in saying this is now that I've become a bit conscious of calories, mm-hmm. I've I, in my head any food item I think about it in terms of whether it's high or low calorie. Yeah. And so in my head I'm like I I I've started treating calories as a like a currency, and the problem <laughs> with that is that yeah. it makes me sound extremely stingy because. I, I've uh, numerous times now, like my friend uh, or s- a family member has gone yeah. like, oh, um, I don't know, like uh, they may be the ordering something like, do you want a milkshake? I'm like, mm. oh, that's no, too expensive. But what I mean is it's expensive as in calories wise, it's very yeah. expensive for me. It's like going to be 600 calories. That's too expensive. It's a lot. But it, m- it sounds like what I'm saying is, oh, uh, yeah. £2.50, bit expensive. So Snickers I or, or it's pretty expensive. <laughs> um, <laughs> you get the 95 calorie Snickers bars. But this two fifty is like a normal, yeah. a normal. It's bar. insane. It's ridiculous. Like Very if, expensive. If you have one, like say if your calories are two thousand, two fifty gone, and you don't feel full, you just feel slightly happy. And like Red Bull is high as well. It's yeah, crazy. I don't touch Red Bull. I uh, ca- uh, coffee's low in calorie. Coffee's low in calorie. I have, I have coffee, and uh, and c- sorry, let's just check back a second. You said if you were to have a thousand, then two fifty is gone on stickers. You're not on a thousand. No, two thousand, two thousand. Oh, I'm on around th- about two thousand. Okay, but when you exercise, you burn calories. Exactly. So it increases, mm-hmm. but you want to be in as much deficit to lose weight. Of course. I'm not a fitness person at all. Do not take my advice. Same. Please. I got. <laughs> you know, recently because Freshly Grounded is my life. I speak about everything that goes on in my life, yeah. uh, whether I mean to or not. And the problem with that is, uh, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, like when you when you speak about things, you are kind of then accountable for them. Yeah. But sometimes I'll say something because at that po- moment in la- in time, that's what I feel strongly about. Yeah. Maybe it's a diet. Yeah. And then. Uh, I realised that oh now I spoke <laughs> about that I have to live that otherwise yeah. I get like otherwise like I'm a fraud and yesterday <laughs> last night I went to Asda uh, very late at night after the boys went to sleep and yeah. uh, recently I've been speaking about all this calorie stuff and freshly yeah, grounded yeah. and uh, I'm in the ice cream aisle <laughs> I know it well and uh, yeah <laughs> and uh, this lady who's kind of in the way and I said to her uh, oh, excuse me and um, I kind of laughed because I'm trying to be friendly like, oh excuse me you yeah know, and uh, I opened the ice cream. I reached for an ice cream tub and I grab it. And um, she goes, excuse me. And I looked at her and I said, yes. And she goes, no, maybe, maybe I think I've got the wrong person. And uh, me with my ice cream in my hand, I'm looking at her and I said, yeah, probably. And she goes, no, no probably the wrong person. And she went, freshly grounded? No. And an ice cream tub in my hand. No After way. all that calorie talk. And I said. You got found yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, it was a low calorie ice cream tub in my Was hand. it? Oh, was it those? Um, the Halo top. Oh, they're amazing. A whole tub. Yeah. Not even a. It's like 250, 300. I know, yeah. Have you tried the peanut butter one? Have you tried the birthday cake one? I don't like that one. That's a nice one. Have you tried the peanut butter one? I have tried the peanut butter one. Insane. Birthday cake just gets you happy. I don't like it. It's like celebratory me- and it's a slightly less calories. Have you tried the chocolate one? No, it's oh. a bit boring. Is it good? No, 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 it's great. I thought it would be boring, but it's great. Hmm. Have you tried Oppo? Oppo is like uh, Morrison's version or, or, or Amazon Fresh version and stuff like that. Is it good? Uh, Oppo is good. They got praline and chocolate, chocolate and praline. What's praline? That's, praline, a, that's an island. No. Island <laughs> in <laughs> the sh- the Shea the sh- shells, the Seychelles. See, really? I I think it is. I didn't know that. Um, I don't know what it is. Um, I think praline's a nut. Is it a nut? I believe so. Okay. Why are they made that into an ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> it's a known thing. Like for people, praline, have yeah, the nut, praline. Are you talking about pecan? Uh, talking about pecan? Is it pecan? <laughs> pecan. Pecan. Now I'm overthinking everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it was chocolate and praline. praline. I'm gonna stick to that. Praline sounds weird. Man. It was good, man. Maybe I'm saying it. Maybe I'm pronouncing <laughs> yeah, it wrong. Praline. It was good. Okay. Yeah, uh, but it's four pound fifty. Whereas the Asda Bro, version, up. yeah, Asda version is like two pound. So yeah. they, as the own brand, and they do all of the same ones as Halo Top, but as the brand version. So no way, interesting. Yeah, that happened. So that's the problem: is that I have to keep myself, mm. I have to hold myself accountable for what I say. Yeah, because then it's just, it, it, and that's that's the, that's the frustrating thing about being uh, a slightly frustrating thing about doing a podcast every week. Uh, like ninety nine point nine percent of the um, things evolved around having a podcast every week are incredibly yeah. positive. I get to do what I love, but mm. some of the bad things are that and also did you see the last episode that we did together the one that we did in quarantine the one we did remotely yes the 
the one when I put, put the, the cane mask on. Yeah. I didn't watch that back because I thought it's just weird. <laughs> First of all, loads of people commenting saying that's their favorite episode of Fresh Grounded ever. No, no. Yeah, they did. Yeah, it's probably the cane mask. Is it probably the cane yeah. mask? I'm and uh, go on. and secondly, now I'm not saying I look good now. Yeah, you do, mashallah. No, I wasn't fishing for, for, for a compliment. But what I will say is, I've never looked so bad <laughs> on a podcast. And I, that's one of the things you have to accept, right? When you're on a weekly podcast, mm. every week of your life, and my, of my life for the last five years has been displayed. Or how I've looked every That's pretty week. mad, actually. Isn't it? And the problem with that is that sometimes you have a bad week. <laughs> that yeah. was a, that, I, I watched that podcast yesterday. That was like a bad two months. I can't yeah. remember what... That you, was the, you were wearing a hat. You were wearing a hat. No. no I, I watched no, yesterday. I and wish. The, my I first, wish the I was The one thing I know about Faisal is he loves to keep on top of his... Haircuts, and if he doesn't, he likes to wear a hat. And I looked at the episode. And I said he's not wearing a hat, and he hasn't got a haircut. What happened? I looked bad, and that episode had done good downloads because obviously people love the not, episode. No, but it's not that you look bad. It's just that you don't look like your usual. Self. I look rough. I can't. Remember. I thought you looked fine. But it no. added to the episode because it was quarantine. It was quarantine. Yeah. So if you got, if you had a haircut, it would be a bit questionable. Where'd you go yeah, to get yeah. a haircut? Where'd you haircut? That's true. Yeah, it's true. We all look rough. We all look. Rough. You look good in that episode. I definitely. You, I put, you, I put you, you did I put, the episode in a vest. I, did I? You did the episode in a vest, Adam. No, it wasn't a vest. It, it was, was a vest. It was did not you see a vest. The episode for Rewind us? it back. Play he, it. He was. You were wearing a vest. It was a sleeveless t-shirt. Oh, that's a vest. A vest. A vest. Okay. Difference between sleeveless t-shirt and a vest. Go. If I cut the sleeves off a t-shirt, it's a sleeveless t-shirt a vest doesn't have this bit what's this shoulder bit shoulder straps is that right yeah <laughs> shoulder straps yeah it doesn't it has shoulder straps t-shirt doesn't if i cut these off vest. so you're saying the difference is the thickness of the straps indeed that's that that is uh <laughs> the scientific term yeah Fine. The thickness <laughs> of the straps. Okay, okay. shoulder straps do you uh, are you a vest man uh for loungewear, yeah. For loungewear? <laughs> that's the last thing. That's Lounge the last time. La- you know, I'm a vest man, okay? I'll be honest. Where do you wear a vest? Where Everyone. is it appropriate to wear a vest? <laughs> I never <laughs> don't wear a vest. What do you... I've never seen you wear hey, a vest. Hey, Adam. Adam. <laughs> yeah, go, please, go ahead. I'm wearing one right now. Uh, underneath the... Yeah, underneath the, the thick North Face hoodie I'm wearing. But, under, but I'm just... There's a vest, <laughs> as well as a t-shirt. I never don't wear a vest. It's a comfort thing. I think it started when I started like feeling not confident in my body. No, I can feel that. Yeah, I understand. And now it's become a habit. Um, not that I'm now incredibly confident <laughs> in my body. It was when I was not confident. Now that I look like a bodybuilder, um, it's just a habit. Uh, but what happened, bro, is um, uh, the, the reason I'm shocked that you'd wear a vest and lounge is because at the end of the day, when I come home, taking off the vest is like... No. Oh, it's like taking yeah. off the socks. Oh, for, uh, for, uh, for me, it's like... Take you off. want to put a vest on? I'm not put a vest on to feel comfortable because right. it, it's like the most appropriate amount of clothes you can wear. Ah, uh, and then say someone answers the door. Yeah, hello there. Yeah. And then <laughs> you, just, you just you know what you, I do? You're in those just moments? there. You're ready. Yeah. You know what I do in those moments? What do you do? I wear a sleeveless t-shirt. Do you actually? Yep. What's I have that? a great sleeveless t-shirt. So would you just here. you just ask me the difference? Uh, there you go. Yeah, you're right. So your lounge. So yeah, uh, vest wrong. vest is for loungewear. Um, but there's different types of vests. You know, there's like there's gyms on with the tiny, tiny strap. Yeah, it's I've like got a, one it's of literally these. like a, it's a called string. A, that's called a stringer vest. It's like a string. It's called a stringer vest. Okay. Um those are a bit too much. That doesn't that, I'm just like I'm I got one just, when I was training hard. Yeah. I got one. Did you, did you, have you worn it outside? I, I've worn it. Outside in public. Oh, not like uh I I I, wore it, I, I think the most I've done was where at the gym when I was like peak confidence now. Yeah. I've wore a vest and, and, and nice. so I did go and now i you'll never see me. I don't even have that anymore. Uh, now I just wear regular Primark vests, two pound fifty. Do, you know what I do with some of those, um, the cheap ones. I use them in a swimming pool. Say if you you don't want to expose Aura anywhere, and you like chuck the vest on. Fine. I think that is probably. But when you come out of the pool, you look weird because like yeah, you're yeah you look a bit weird. You? Yeah, that is. It weird. looks a bit weird. That is weird. Don't recommend. Um, that is weird. I think there's a company that exists that does like it might be called like Sunna shorts or something. And they do like uh, yeah, shorts it comes that cover up to from here. the... <laughs> yeah, it comes up. They, they don't, they look, they, 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 the... It's good though, good it's initiative. It's good, it's good, good it's very good initiative, but I wish it was um, like, 
more attractive. More attractive. But how do you make something? You can't. That's I the think thing. first of all, I think they do a great job, and Mashallah, we should honestly. support Muslim businesses. I bought. I think I bought. I bought a pair. Oh, great. I bought a pair. So, but yeah, you're yeah. right. You can't. But you can't. How effectively? You can't exactly. Yeah. To some extent, you have to accept that they're gonna look. They, they're covering from their belly button to the mm. knee. Yeah. And they're gonna look like they're covering from the belly button to the knee. That's it. You can't. Re- the only way to get around it is wear swim short, swimsuit, leggings, yeah. and a swim gu- rash guard or the. The vet. I don't know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, no, you're right. Like you know a rash talking? guard vest. That's yeah. the, but then it's not as comfortable. Then you look so like a wrestler. You do look exactly like yeah. a wrestler, which like is an angle. advantage, which yeah. is an advantage yeah, in many situations. It's just a benefit. It's just a benefit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, also three quarter shorts, it's really hard to find them. Where, where do you find I, them? I, I really, really don't like three quarter shorts. I don't, it's, uh, you, the you're sitting on the way. Guys have to come off. I Now, when you become someone who's conscious of the dean yeah and you think and let's say for example you follow the opinion that your knees are old right yeah. because there is an opinion that the knees aren't included in that but mm-hmm. we're not going to get into the thick of it yeah because it's just fresh i like that the, the, the yeah. thick of it the, thick, the thick of, of it, it. yeah, yeah. It's a new show. Was, you can make that a show that was even purple that wasn't even on purpose. Was that even purpose? we should make the show the yeah. thick of it and you get like a uh a, a, a sheikh on and then you just talk about yeah that's an amazing title if, if the, there's the a producer in the room maybe he can uh <laughs> that, is, that is honestly amazing right, so it. anyway anyway go on go on um, where was I look how I'm sitting I was doing yeah, this yeah it's, it's fine <laughs> I was saying that um, okay let's say for example you think that the, you believe that the, the, the short the, the knees need to be covered yeah right? which I, I, I think is a majority opinion but we're not getting into the fickle yeah let's, let's stop do that um, for now I'm completely lost my point so you were saying that three quarters length uh, shorts yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they really not. So uh, what I was saying is that when I started becoming more aware of my faith, mm. one of the things that I realized was that, you know, knees should be covered, or aura should be covered. And that made me realize why a lot of uh, Muslim men wear three quarter lengths. Yeah. And they look bad. Th- they don't look, th- they don't look the best. Now, they don't look the best. E- I would say that with the amount of leg, that is, that is covered. You wear, wear trousers. Just wear trousers. Wear trousers. Yeah. You know what? You know, the, hey, I, the, hey, <laughs> get some thin trousers. Just get some trousers. Yeah. You might as well. It's not. You're not. You're, it's not that hot. You, yeah. Like this much. But the saying that, like, soon as sports clothing for men, the companies that do that, they, alhamdulillah, mashallah, I'll reward them. They're actually making stuff for men. There's not a lot of modest fashion for men. That's true. And That's the, true. you got a the credit to whoever's making it, mashallah. That even though it's difficult to make it for men. It looks pretty. It, it's it's it, it's it's something no, that's needed. Right. Do you no know one, what I mean? No one's doing it. No one's doing. And what Let's do we? Check, what do you do? Uh, what do you do if you need? want to go swimming pool. You want to go to the sea. Um, he goes. Uh, so their Instagram at this isn't. Uh, uh, this is not yeah. a paid promotion. It's uh, Sunna Shorts UK, and uh, they do. Uh, oh, they do. They also do um, uh, swimwear for. I bought you know what they don't look bad. So they, uh, maybe no, I bought though, I bought I bought one a few years ago. It might have been there or another. They don't look bad at all. Maybe we should get some. Yeah. But do you feel comfortable wearing that? They don't look bad at all. Do you know what they look like? They look like you're wearing a rash guard underneath your shorts, and they actually you, made them look look because they've made them look. Oh, like, yeah, they don't look bad it at all. looks it looks a bit it looks a bit sporty. Yeah, it's cool. That's quite cool. That's not bad at all. Not bad. So. uh Yeah, but mo- not modest men fashion. Mo- oh, Fans, men's modest fashion is what I'm trying to say. You know who does that quite well is, uh, have you heard of Zahid? Not heard of that. Or them. <laughs> he's a man. He's one man. And uh, he's been on Fresh Granny before, back in the day. And he does, um, he tries oh, to promote I, modest yeah, I, I think yeah. I remember that episode, yeah. Yeah. It's like thobes and like stuff like that. So uh, fashion's not my thing. Fashion's not my thing. I don't mm. like spending money on clothes. Yeah, I'm, I wear like, I have, um, I have like, Four or five pairs of tracksuit bottoms, and I just repeat, repeat, just recycle. Yeah. I do the same thing. So we we talked about this before. The trousers I'm wearing are not jeans; they are tracksuit. They are. <laughs> <laughs> I think those they, ones. Yeah, they're same ones. I've got no, another pair. There you go. No. Your tracksuit bottoms. Surprise, you know Look at the flexibility. Look at this. They're not actually jeans. These aren't jeans. Did you know that? How? Your mind is blown. They look just like I jeans. I can't right? tell. You can't. These are tracksuit. Well, I can go gym boys. after this, and no one would. Yeah. Everyone would think I've just come from. Bro, after the episode that we did, after the episode we did together, people were commenting saying, um, "Where did you get? Where them did from? he get them from?" Yeah. Yeah. So these are from Uniqlo. They're called Easy. 
trousers. I think they're really comfortable. They're so comfortable. You could go into the gym. I could go to the gym. I could go for a run. You look weird in the gym. You gave me the idea first. Remember that one time we were on Iman Channel? You were wearing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) And you were wearing those like smart trousers. And I look at your legs. And I was was like, what are those? What are those? Remember that? Um, (laughs) (laughs) And um, that's where it started. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I started this. You did start it. And then um, from there, it's just an upward trajectory towards comfort. Man, I live in tracksuit bottoms. Why would you wear jeans? What? Yeah, I'm actually wearing jeans on my event uh, next week. <sighs> but that's because I'm speaking at an <laughs> yeah, event. It's Surely you... I should wear... I should actually wear a suit. Should you wear three-piece suit? Like, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm wearing jeans. That's <laughs> my <laughs> you should... yeah. you should wear like... What are those? Chinos? Yeah, I should. Chino, a bit of chinos. Bottom, man, you should wear a waistcoat at least with some chinos. I, 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 I've, got some new, I've got a new pair of trainers. So these are the <laughs> Adidas Oswegos. I've got these in like cream. And I haven't worn Ooh, them. I thought, cream. well, my events next week. Let me wear the first, first time my events. I'm going to wear blue jeans with my cream as we goes. Or they're like brownie cream. They're really nice. Mm-hmm. And uh, my, okay, fine. Me and my wife got matching pairs. You know that? Are the you exact same know? shoe. Yeah. Really? For the first time after five or six years of marriage. Because I was getting them and she was getting a pair. And then we thought, why? Well, it's not we. I said. Okay, I was like, get the same pair as me. <laughs> and before she could kind of make the decision, I clicked. Yeah, get that. So. Oh, this wasn't in store. No, no, it was. Oh, it was digital. It's, of course. For some reason, my mind online. went into in store. I know, and we got Zakaria a uh, pair as well. Oh no way! Yeah. That's cool. But these cool. don't look like ours. Oh, okay. They, they kids, do look like ours, style. but they're not exactly the same. Yeah, they're like, they're, he's like they're white. Like kid style. And then we didn't get mm. or anything because he's too small. Oh, you could eventually. Yeah, I was thinking you could get some really cool matching family outfits. And then go out. Mm. Or you could do like a superhero thing. Do you like superheroes? No. Oh, God. This is going to be a difficult conversation. Yeah, what do you like, which is... Just fun. N- w- yeah, fun. Don't say business. Don't say... You've asked me before, doing you podcasts. Said don't say business. Don't say, don't say, don't say podcasts. Don't say... Purchasing t- cars. Do what you like, I like? cars? <laughs> like, what, like, like, just like, oh, I love that. Don't say doing projects. Don't uh, yeah, say outside of work, where it's very hard. It's very difficult. I, um, if I got free time, and like, let's say, for example, it's like, wife's going out with the kids for the day, I have the whole day to myself. Yeah. I'll probably get some work done. Are you serious? Yeah. But like, wouldn't you just be like, you know what? I really wanted to watch that film I, I like, mm. Uber Eats, Deliveroo, the other ones, and then um, you just have a fun time in front of TV. No. Although, maybe I'll try and do some Quran. MashaAllah. Yeah. No, th- that's actually good because it's relaxing as well. And it's and, like, yeah. it takes, uh, I agree. But, uh, no, but in terms of fun, like, I like to go out with um, so, uh, with uh, uh, a friend or two. Okay. For like, pool. Okay, there you go. go. Yeah. Play pool. <laughs> yeah. or, you said that really funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pool. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, have a, I have a great <laughs> laugh just playing pool with a, a friend or two. Really? Yeah. And, uh that's a kind of a really nice evening for me. Or, um, or, or obviously on Wednesdays we do football. Oh, yeah. cool! So I do football with the in-laws. That's, on why didn't you say that straight away? Yeah, that's a thing the, we do. The, okay, but that's not that, that's fun. But that's it's, fun. That's that's an activity. Yeah, it's a fun activity. Yeah. So activity other activities other than work are football, pool. pool. Is there another one? Like knitting. I know how mm-hmm. to sew. Oh, really? Yeah, no, so yeah. I sewed the other day. No way. Yeah. What did you sew? What did you sew? <laughs> I actually sewed these trousers. Did you see that? Did you actually? Yeah, I sewed this. Uh, not the whole trousers. I didn't make oh, trousers. You, oh, you see I that see. Patch? I was just testing out the patch to see if it, how, it, how it does on stuff. And so I, that's, like the, that's some freshly grounded uh, mm. patch. What's the difference between sewing and hemming? Oh, I don't know the advantage. I, I, just, see, I, don't know I just got my nan to teach me how to sew when I was uh, in university because I thought Great I'm going to be in university by myself. And sometimes so you would you've got need, to patch a few things up. You would need to sew? <laughs> that's the word. That's the word. <laughs> Shall I tell you the truth? Go on, tell me. Tell, very tell. Did you have your pants or trousers? Uh, no, it's even more embarrassing. Oh, go on. So go on, go, go, go on. on. It's, like <laughs> it's one of my most embarrassing stories. You can't. I, no learned, I learned how to sew so yeah. that I could make the sleeves of my arms and my t-shirts tighter so my arms look bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you just buy a new t-shirt? What? What? I will grow your biceps. Oh yeah, work yeah, out. Go to the gym. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, I chose the, to tie it in my t-shirts. That is the cheapest like plastic surgery you could really <laughs> kind of do, isn't it? <laughs> it's incredibly embarrassing. I regret saying it already, uh, but I'm not going to cut out the episode. That's uh, that's yeah. actually quite um, that's quite. If you want to give me a lesson afterwards on how I can do that? Yeah, <laughs> it works, bro. Your arms are big, but uh, just just put it out there. 
<laughs> if you try and look back on Fisher Gun episodes now, go, hold on a second, his arms. Are, I haven't done it <laughs> in any. If, like, this was. Well, that, back then, I, I, they didn't probably have muscle fit and slim fit and skinny fit. All no, the that, different that's fits. That's But now you can just buy the muscle fit. It it's, it called, it's called athleisure wear, isn't it? It's a new industry. It's a huge industry. Like Gymshark. Like, yeah, Boohoo Man, Gymshark, ASOS. Uh, sorry, yeah. not Boohoo Man, Boohoo Active. ASOS, I think, have an active mm. line or something. So, yeah, athleisure wear, I think it's called. They're very comfortable clothing as well. Oh, you're wearing athleisure right now? This is athleisure. Yeah, of course. Definitely. Sounds like some type of. Um, type of uh, thing you catch after, like athlete's foot yeah have you caught athleisure I have yeah. I definitely caught athleisure, I should have athleisure right now uh, yeah, yeah I'm, oh, I've got some athleisure yeah. we both caught athleisure yeah yeah. it's like athlete fever athlete foot yeah yeah this is a great topic we're talking about yeah, um, foot, yeah. <laughs> have you ever had athlete's foot <laughs> no um, have you, you Go on, we can. Would you like? I've never had athlete's foot. Fine, I'll give you my. Uh, go on, go on. Story. Have you had athlete's foot? Oh, it's a really horrible story. But it's like, there's benefit in it. There's benefit. Okay, in it. So go when ahead, I was working please. in retail on the shop floor, yeah, I um, again was new to the religion, and I found out that you can um, make wardle over your socks. Mm-hmm. Wow. And when I'm at work, I now no longer need to take my socks off. Easy. So I'm at work, mm-hmm. uh, making wool. And uh, when it came to do the socks, obviously I could do with over my socks. So I wash <laughs> my feet. Well, out <laughs> with with socks with the, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> now, <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on. <laughs> so used hold on. to put your... No, I didn't put my foot... I wasn't as crazy. <laughs> I, I didn't put, put my foot in the sink. I didn't put my foot in the sink. But no, you used I, to put your feet your feet back into your shoes with Correct. wet socks. My wet socks would go in my feet and so I'd walk, drench, and I'd walk th- so I'd have wet, wet socks and then I'd pray and I would uh, be on the shop floor for eight hours or four hours. <laughs> oh, uh, we're walking no. for a month, right? <laughs> and uh, and then what happened is, um, but I see me walking on the shop floor going, oh, this is convenient. <laughs> it's, like, it's like squelch, squelch, yeah. squelch. Like, it's great. Do I have to take my sock off? Made with all. Bob uncle. How easy is the religion? So then, uh, you know, as time goes on, I'm getting this, this horrible rash that's getting worse and worse. Yeah. On the bottom of my foot. And um, eventually it got to a point where it's unmanageable. I, I'm now limping everywhere I no go. Uh, it sometimes bleeds. And I decided to go to the doctor. The doctor looked at it. She goes, oh, I don't know what this is. Blah, blah, blah. And then the um, doctor said to me, uh, so doctor, anyway, it's like basically the appointment's done. I can't remember what happened, yeah. right, but the appointment's done. And so I'm about to leave. And then the doctor says to me, oh, by the way, you don't, do you ever like um, put socks on straight after the shower or something? And bro, it was a light bulb moment. No It just way. hit me. I went, yeah. oh my gosh. I walk around with wet socks four times a week. That's pretty hours. crazy. And because I was work, working four days a week. Um, I thought, oh my gosh, yes, yes. Yes, I I have. Did you say this out loud? No, I yes. Uh, <laughs> I I didn't say that. Like, um, I <laughs> come out the shower, but I, I I didn't. No, sorry, I didn't say that. I make wood on, but I basically <laughs> said yes to the fact that I, um, in some capacity, walk around with wet socks, and it hit me. And then I went home, and the benefit, uh, in this piece of uh, story, or as the Arabs would say. A shahid min al kalam. I hope I said that right. Is <laughs> is, uh, is that um, is that it made me think something, right? Sorry, I'm. What did you about. think? Put the glasses. It made, me, it made me go. Well, if the religion tells me to do something, surely it wouldn't tell me to do something that's going to cause me such pain and you know months of healing through creams and and and, and stuff like that. And so I thought I must have it wrong. And so I researched the matter, and then. As you as you realize, if you were to study the fiqh of tahara, is that you only have to wipe the top of the mm-hmm. sock. Yeah. And I went, oh, yeah. Allah knew. Alhamdulillah. He so knew that people would get athletes. Made with. it easy. And uh, and so I was, of course, I've got it wrong the whole time. But th- and that's how I figured out that you can just wipe the top of your sock. I do that at work as well. So you don't actually have to make it so difficult at work, chucking your foot within yeah. the sink. You can just do it over the socks. Uh, and then walking on the shop floor. Oh. On the shop floor, yeah. That's crazy. Um, I have not had athletes for... Yeah, it's not nice. How do athletes get there? I suppose... I mean, one would get... First, I suppose maybe something... Sweat in the sock. To do with like sweat and running. Mm. And then like they keep their socks on for like a marathon. Maybe. So 24-hour run. Yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you had a Veruca? Sweat. 
I don't know that I can remember. He- yeah. Remember I think Bazooka that Veruca? Yeah, that, that advert. That, and it was. Um, and then it became Bazooka. There's a woman that jumping on a diving board. That I don't was the remember advert. that. I just remember Bazooka that Veruca, the phrase. That was a Bazooka that Other phrase that I remember is 0800 00 no. um, RSVC R E V E R S E. 118118. That's a different one. No. 0800 00 1066. Hastings Insurance. Battle of Hastings. Battle of Hastings. Once in history, we had an exam and it said what year was Battle of Hastings. And I remember that. Oh, perfect. And that's when I realised. You should work for an insurance company. No, that's when it hit me. (laughs) The reason they do that, the reason they got 1066 is because Battle of Hastings is all connected at that moment in my exam. It blows your mind now. Like, whoever thought of that, amazing. I sung promoting. that in my head because it was like well, it was a multiple choice and one of which was ten sixteen. I thought Hastings ten sixteen. That can't be. That can't be a um uh like coincidence. That can't be. And it wasn't. It, it, it the was, Battle of Hastings. It was true. Um, Jimba, have you ever oh eight hundred uh, reverse someone yeah, when you had course, no credit? It's so annoying. Imagine you receive a call. Would you like you can take a collect call from Adam? Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> decline. Decline. <laughs> I used that to my mum. Mum would always accept, obviously, because like, <laughs> we're in danger. We could be in danger or something. But yeah, yeah, I didn't have any credit. It would be like yeah. a prison call now, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's so funny. Imagine doing that. It's crazy. Yeah, I used to use that a lot. Do you yeah. remember calling the um, uh, clock to see what the actual <laughs> time is? <laughs> yeah, you're too young for that for us. Do you remember that? I can't remember that. Yeah, so That's you would dial the world still. clock on. So if you like, what's the time? Yeah. You dial the number for the world clock, mm. and it and it's an automated response that says the time is now ten twenty six a.m. and fifty eight seconds. And um, we what phone, are. What phone was this on? No, uh, the house phone. Back oh, then, the mobiles phone. mobiles weren't a thing back then. Okay. Like you would like your mobiles weren't that. Um, <laughs> that only businessmen had mobiles. Okay. And so <laughs> you'd get the house on, on the wire, which is on the wire, and you ring. And um, that's how generally you'd find out what the time, the exact so time is. I would assume if you have a house phone, yeah. there's a clock in the there's house. A clock. Well, no, but that doesn't tell you the exact time. Okay. That clock would be like, okay, it's 10 yeah, past 12 yeah, yeah. because it's like a, it's not a digital yeah. analog. And that it's was like, so we used to call it on New Year's and find out when it's midnight. How much did it cost? <laughs> was it worth it? Cost it? Money. it must have cost money, didn't it? What do you do on New Year's? What Nothing. did you do on New Year's? BBC Two, Fireworks, Fireworks. Is the uh, I can't, I'd go to sleep now. Yeah, definitely. Especially because like when you realise that all of these things are Islamically like not permissible. Like they're like it's not in the Islamic calendar. These things aren't things that we should be celebrating. Like a, a New Year. It's it's all like made up, isn't it? Kind mm. of thing. And like, we should just follow the Islamic calendar. When you learn that kind of stuff, uh, if life becomes easier because your life becomes simple. You don't have all these. Um, like, I don't know, things that you have to uphold, like these, cult, these, these, these uh, like, yeah, I see what you mean. Do you know what I mean? Like resolutions, I, for example. I actually got a really cool email and that I haven't replied to yet, which is really bad, because I have like a list of emails that need to be replied to urgently, and then there's a list of like really nice messages that you'd get mm. from people who um, are so listeners like, and stuff like that, but mm. it, it perhaps takes me a bit longer to get to one really cool message came from a listener who said, Faisal, I think you'll benefit from this. Lovely email. Sounds like a lovely man. And I feel really bad that I haven't applied to it. And he said that there's a company who recently started, is a Muslim owned company who recently started doing everything based on the Islamic calendar. Oh, really? And he said there's numerous benefits to it. So they pay on the Islamic, um, Islamic on the same Islamic day and stuff like that. But the benefits were something like, I can't remember. <laughs> the benefits of doing it. There were it loads of benefits to it. I can imagine. Are you for, for example, oh, but being one of them. Yeah, alhamdulillah, exactly. Um, yeah. That would be cool. I would like to see how that works. Yeah. Because um, what's what's exciting in the calendar? In the is it the Gregorian calendar? Yeah. Yeah. Friday's pretty cool. Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. That's exciting. Sunday's just like I guess lazy. Sunday's. What do you do Sunday? When we were little, we used to go to uh, Western International Market. And they would sell like knockoff goods or, or like um, other th- household bits. People put their stools up. And then, um, did you ever go to Western International Market? And do you remember the donuts? Oh, boy, the donuts in the markets. Have you ever been to a market on a Sunday, a Sunday market? No, Come oh, on. probably, yeah. Car boot sale. There's yeah. a Wembley, there's a Wembley oh. one as well, Wembley market. Yeah, Wembley market. Is that good? Yeah, you could get fake Air Maxes. Oh, nice. Yeah. Interesting. And then sell them at school. <laughs> See, the business is the main hobby. Yeah. Yeah. How's your life been, Adam? Um, um, one hour into the podcast. It's uh, the first it's question. <laughs> yeah. Alhamdulillah, it's been good. I like how everything is getting back to normal now. Yeah. How's uh, work? Work's good. Alhamdulillah. Working from home, at work is also. 
Oh, uh, what are you, flexi, flexi work? It's a bit flexible. We can come in, as long as you get the job done and do it well. And is it in Central, the office? It's in West London. It is in Central West, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I can, easy, easy access to the office. Fine. Sometimes I can't work. You work from home all the time. You, you work home, office, everywhere. Yeah. I like, uh, sometimes home, sometimes office, sometimes like coffee shops and stuff. Yeah, um, I got really bored of working at home. I just got so unproductive. I had to, I had to force myself to go into the office. Oh, because I, I just needed to change the scenario. Because, like, sleep, eat, relax, all that. All in the same in, place. It's, it's, yeah. it just, it's just, uh, it's too much. It's too much stuff. But you go jujitsu. I do go jujitsu. How's um, that going? You go, th- how many times do you do that? Three times a week? Three something? times a week, four if I can make it and I'm, I'm not tired. But so that's a straight after work go. Yeah, actually, you know, there's a there's a thing about jujitsu, like, with, um, say, when you're stressed, you know, you've got a bad day, you got nothing's going right, you've got a bad day, it's stressful. And then it's like Monday, you know, oh, I do this four times again. Um, but jujitsu, when you go, you're basically getting beaten up and not trying to not get choked out. It's like, it's like um, you're immersing yourself to, into an activity that helps you recover from the stress because you're completely immersing yourself into something else that requires the brain power to do something quite almost dangerous, but it's also very fun. Um, after jujitsu, I always feel really mentally refreshed. Oh, that's rested. amazing. So instead of like working 24-7, you never, you feel burnt, you get burnt out. Like, it's just like, well, what, it's, the, the week's already gone. Um, jujitsu helps with that. Would you say jujitsu benefits you more mentally than physically? Jujitsu is actually one of my, like, foundations of my mental health um, and keeping up my well-being. So when lockdown came, it was actually, it was a massive blow to me and a lot of people as well. Um, it was like, this is one of my main activities, which when I'm going through a tough time feeling down, OCD's coming up again, I was like, I need to train today. And I go and it helps, it alleviates a lot of that stuff and it kind of gets my mentality in the right place. And I enjoy it as well. I encourage people to do it. Or it could be any sport. Did you do like uh, the, because I knew they were doing some virtual kind of sessions over lockdown, but the, it's I, not the same. It's not the yeah, same. Yeah, I heard, that's what I heard from. Getting on the mat, learning, rolling, sparring is some. Um, it's a, an amazing thing, which um, it's just putting you, new, you in that situation where you're not in every day, and it just helps. Have you ever rolled with Ash? One time. Wait, how was that? When he was a purple belt. He beat me up, yeah. Really? Mashallah, he did. You know, he's a black belt in karate as well. No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wow. Belt, yeah. He, I was telling, talking to him the other day, and I was like, Mashallah, to be consistent with something that long, it takes 10 years at least to get a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Yeah, he's been doing it 12 years. He's 52 now. Mashallah, no way. So... All when he I started, he used to, uh, 12 years ago, he used to tell me, come with me, come with me, come with me. Imagine if I started back then 12 years ago. And he used to teach me how to do the triangle and how to get out of the triangle. No, you then, yeah. oh, no way. Back then, yeah. Why are you not doing it now? It will help you. Well, I will help you. <sighs> do you know what's tough about it? It's because at the time that he was saying to me, let's, like, at the time that he started, I was very young because it was 12 years ago. Mm. So he used to kind of just teach me some stuff when I would meet him. Yeah. And then... Um, so if those listening who don't know who Ash is, Ash is a family friend of mine. But he also goes to uh, the he same jiu-jitsu club as mm-hmm. um, Adam, uh, which is the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Roger Gracie Academy. Academy. Hammersmith. Uh, Hammersmith. I don't know the actual address, Karen. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and so he's... See, but then when I got to the university, which I was older, he, mm. he used to speak to me more adamantly, join jiu-jitsu. Mm. Like, it would be great for you. And so I remember saying to him, listen, when I come out of uni, I get myself a job, because it was £100 a month then. I know it's more expensive now. Mm. It's about 150 isn't it? Yeah, so you just spend to support either way, right? Ooh, right. And so I was like, it's £100 a month. I can't really afford that. Maybe when I come out of uni, get a job. And then I speak to him the other day, because I went for dinner with him the other day. Yeah. And I was saying to him, how funny is it is that now, <laughs> obviously, like, it's not as tough, like, you know, £100 a month or whatever. Under there, yeah. And, um, but I just... Now you've got kids and stuff and you think, how am I going to... Because you have to dedicate... To, to really dedicate yourself, you have to go three or four times a week, don't you? And uh, stuff. And it's just... I, I don't... I'm just... You have to go four... T- four times a week is a lot. Like, like, I mean... But you'd want to progress. You can progress with once a week. You'll just progress slower. Yeah. But it's still like... And it's an activity which you... Because like most sports, you don't learn like jujitsu. Learning is like like a staple of it. It's a, is that the right word? Like a, like a... It's like a foundation of it. Mm-hmm. Like you go, you learn a technique, you train get fitness in and you make really good friends some of my best friends are from jiu-jitsu um and it's like sometimes i feel like you know sometimes when you're in a family life or work stress all these responsibilities you have sometimes you need to have like an outlet which is not that so you come come home and you be 
the best man you can. Do you know what I mean? So sometimes having that break, having that outlet, having that hobby makes you into a better man. That only is a beneficial for absolutely everyone around you. Do you know what I mean? So without it, I would probably be more grumpy, more out of shape, less happy. Because if I if that jujitsu was taken away from me, which it kind of did in lockdown, um, everything kind of goes a bit more downhill. But then when it comes back, uphill. Life's not up and down. So jiu-jitsu help, helps me with that. How about how about stuff like um, like keeping up with spiritual, like the spiritual side of mm. things? How does that impact your mental health? That is another massive thing. Um, so I have I go to Quran classes at Jazari Institute. Okay. Um, that's in uh, East, West London, right? East London. That's oh, in East it? London. That's not at, that's not at the Montada building. So uh, it's oh, that's that's Shatibi Institute. That's Shatibi Institute. Okay. The Jazari Institute is in. Um, in uh in where is it Whitechapel Whitechapel um amazing amazing qualified teachers mashallah I've been going with I've been studying with those teachers for five years now wow. every week half an hour one on one classes it's just amazing it brings the Quran into your heart properly like before I didn't really have a relationship with the Quran but yeah. after you have a teacher guiding you through it it really embeds it in your heart and whenever there's a a struggle a tough time in your life. You turn to the Quran and you turn to the Mustafa and you just read it and it, it just makes you so much better. And one tip actually I should say is like when I've got a lot of anxiety, a lot of um, OCDs coming up, just start Surah Al-Baqarah. Just start it. One page a day I try when it's really hard and get the routine to kick, carry on doing it. It alleviates it, alleviates it a lot. It's just like another attack you can have to help your mental health. It's just another booster. And... Wallahi, it works. It really helps me. There's a sister who told me about that. Allah reward her for telling me. Um, and it was a uh, that that habit is 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 amazing. Yeah, um, there's a ayah in the Quran that says, "Wanu nazilu min al Quran ma huwa shifa." It goes on. And, um, there's more to it, but that bit means that um, and indeed we created the Quran mm. as a cure uh, for the believers. And um, and I found that too. That 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 that. It's not just a cure physically, but so often, yeah, when you... Like, the best days I have mm. are the days that I start with Quran. Yeah. That doesn't mean that the worst day... Like, otherwise, all my days are, like, so mm. bad. But I do find that if I manage to wake up early and be alone, mm. and that's always best in the mornings, mm. and do a Quran, it's like, oh, my days are just... Great start, fantastic. right? Fantastic. Yeah, totally. I think I did... I managed to do that today. Mm. Uh, not for as long as I would have wanted. Yeah, because um, one of the boys woke up, but it makes a huge difference. Massive bro. difference. Um, and like for anyone who's a bit like scared to start it, and it's a, it's a bit it's a bit daunting, especially if you don't know Arabic. I didn't know a single letter at no one right, point. No right. Once you start, it's like the I think it's probably the biggest blessing. Yeah. In your life, like it really is like a such a it's such a gift to have, and it's such an amazing thing to work on. Don't you think that people who have been brought up having been taught the Quran mm. don't realize the gift that they have? Because now mm. you, I, I had to learn at 21, 22, and 26. You had, there you go. Yeah. You're obviously now 30, I'm 27. Yeah. yeah, long time now. So, but there's been people who from four or five, yeah. may Allah bless their parents, may Allah bless them, I mean, I have, mean. have been able to have, have had it. Mm. But do you think that you've been able to appreciate it now more because you had to graft through learning it at like in adulthood? I, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's like um, it's sometimes when you look back, you kind of see how far you've come. Alhamdulillah, Allah guided us and like put us on this path. Um, and I do appreciate it, but I also I'm ast- I'm amazed at how deep the Quran is. Like mm. the qirat of the Quran, the different modes of recitation, how the Quran was preserved. That in itself is amazing to me, how it has been preserved for 1400 years. For me, I'm just like, nothing in existence is like that. Mm. You couldn't bring, um, for example, say if we, Fusra is an ancient style of Arabic, right? We couldn't, you couldn't give me a 1400 year old Chinese script and go, okay, learn this please and recite it and memorize it. And it's like, for me, I'm just like, yeah, when I think about it like that, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, so all those like, Miracles of the Quran always hit me every so often, and it's such—it's literally Allah talking to us. Yeah. So having that in your life is is priority. Having it somewhere, even like an ayah day or something, just yeah. something. Um, even at work, sometimes I have like 
couple eyes on the screen and when I'm just like got a few minutes to think I'm like let me just read this to myself it just brings you up a little bit that chauffeur is like there do you know what I mean 100% mm. do you have your own um, setup at work or because you said you kind of work from home kind of work from um, it's a hot desk oh, so just laptop screen is that we work or something because it's their own building it's just yeah it's their own building but it's um it's just hot, hot desk at the moment right. but I'm the so like, you don't you do yeah. get to have your monitor set up and stuff there's loads of monitors I'll just take one oh, really? charge it up yeah it's for uh, home I got my setup What's nice. your setup like at home? My home setup is so I'm the beastly. My friend, my friend Guy from um from school. So you expect me so to believe I'll, I'll that get, you yeah, have so a friend called Guy. Guy? His name is Guy. If he's watching, <laughs> hello. Um, hey he, Guy. He's, he's an <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it is his real name. <laughs> he's um he's like an amazing like craftsman in wood, and he can build amazing stuff. He built a desk for me. Wow. I love reward him. Um, he built a desk for me. That I could put my PC components inside, so the desk is like that. It's like a desk. Is it a desk? It's got a glass on top, and it's I put I built the computer inside it. Wow! And it's like it's insane. So I've seen desks like that. Before. Yeah, it's like that. Mashallah. Um, I could never do anything like that. I just you, have you showed me your desk before? I think I showed you my desk. That looked time. phenomenal. It was. It wasn't even me. I just put the stuff inside. I just opened it and put it in. Um, like. It was crazy and varnishing it. It was really cool. So do you have a gaming PC? I do have a gaming and PC. And so do you have to have extra fans and stuff like that? I've got, yeah, six Corsair fans in there. Yeah. So a well, lot. They just get really hot, these gaming PCs. Yeah, so like the c CPU gets hot, G the graphics processing unit. The CPU, the GPU. Like, yeah, CPU, yeah, it's cool. CPU, if anyone GPU, doesn't yeah. know, yeah. So core components of the computer, they get very hot. Um, air needs to be brought in. So hot air needs to be taken out, cool air needs to be brought in constantly. So that's why. So bigger case. Better airflow, smaller case, worse airflow, things get hot. So that's why sometimes your MacBook could get really loud because this fan is working really hard of because course. it's getting hot. Yeah. Even your car. Car. Car when doesn't have... Yeah. When you got the yeah. AC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, car um, fan, my car fan is it, so loud. True. Which fan in the car are you talking about? The, out, the one in the engine. Which which one in the engine? Which fan in the engine? <laughs> the loud one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know which one. If you mean... um. Yeah, the car, there's coolant in the car to cool it down. The engine will itself See, will get hot. My car has an issue, right? What's, what's the issue? But my mechanic's in denial. And so I'm, it's just a back and and I'm sorry, I've just accepted it. <laughs> what do you mean, your mechanic's okay, so in denial? He should be not in denial so he can get work, right? He's an honest man. That's why I like him. Mashallah. Him. And, um, okay, so my car's really loud, right? Nice. It's abnormally loud. It's the kind of loud where if you've got AC on full blast, your fans are... <laughs> In, you know the fan in the engine? Oh, like the fan belt, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really loud, mm. right? Understand if I've got my AC on. The problem mm. is that it does it all the time even when my AC's off. Mm. Now, I took it once to my to the mechanic. He was like, car's fine. Yeah. Service date, everything's fine. Oh, okay, fine. Maybe I've just got it wrong. And then, he was still doing it. So I was like, I took it back. I'm like, it's doing well. And then I think the second time he might have like, put coolant in it, even though it had coolant in it. He was like, maybe it's just coolant. I took it back. And then I went back one time and I said, look, definitely there's an issue with my car. It's, it's, mm. It didn't used to be as loud. It's 24 seven really loud. And some, it's, and it's that belt or something that's just going loud, loud, loud. And so he opened up and he said, okay, that's your fan or something. Man, but yeah. Right? And that's working really hard. Yeah. And which is not dangerous for, for mm. it. It's not really dangerous. It's not dangerous for it to like work hard mm. or something. It's fine. And he said, it's because you could get AC on. And then it was like, uh, he says, she said, when I'm like, okay, look, I know I've got my AC on, but it does do it when AC is not on. And like, I turn off the, he's like, right, turn off the AC and it, like he wasn't doing it. And I was like, yeah, but it does. <laughs> like, and so I don't know what to do. Like, am I supposed to fill my car for a 24 hour period or something? And like, so, like, so now it's just like, because obviously he's being helpful because in his eyes, he's mm. like, well, he's- Don't waste he's, money on yeah. like- it, Or it's just yeah. working, it's just yeah. car's fine. But I know, honestly, it's broken. I don't know what to do, bro. My, my car makes weird noises and I just tend to ignore it now. Oh, you're doing the mechanic thing. I, what's the point of spending money on it? It's like yeah, fine. It's just like because oh, as long as it doesn't. I'm driving to Manchester on Monday, so you'll be fine, Charlotte. You'll be fine. I hope so. I don't have breakdown cover. I'm, oh, you need to get. It's like five. It's, AA was doing like six pound a month. I know. But okay, so the breakdown cover thing is, again. We don't. I don't want to get to the thick of it. But I remember. I it's a bit of a confusing matter because I speak to. Uh, I don't. I don't want like open up like mm. the comments for like a madness. But the long story short is, I haven't got breakdown cover. Okay. Um, I see what you mean. Um, I was having a discussion with one of the shuikh I was talking about like 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 to the extent of like insurance that yeah, type of stuff. Like yeah I see what you mean yeah the conclusion was basically like there's a lot of ways you can get breakdown cover for free 
where mm. they give it to you like like your bank will give it to yeah, you whatever, yeah, like, true, true, so, you can, so like it's better to basically go around that way and so I haven't gone round got round to that so right now no better than Khabar, driving to Manchester on Monday have a car that's potentially broken worst case scenario you just call up call up the A when you break down that's what I'm saying so yeah. I could, because that's uh, and I'm, I'm happy to to do that I it's going to be like 100 pounds like, yeah, or whatever exactly and it's like, for example, yeah. You just have to yeah. pay a higher fee because you're not a member. Exactly. And all, if your car is four wheel drive, they can't tow it. They have to put it on the back because it gets more expensive. My car's not a four wheel drive. Yeah, it's not a four wheel drive, right? So um, you should be fine. Like there's always an option. You're not going to be stuck somewhere. Yeah. And there's those there's those telephones on the motorway. Those orange ones. Yeah. I always was intrigued yeah, by them. So I'm like, oh, right. let me. Ooh, do they just call ooh, one yeah, number? What, what do they call one number? Can you call oh, your mom? Can you... Yeah, it's, it's a, mm. well, is it a free phone? Work? I don't know. You can call and find out the time. Yeah. Find out the, yeah. Maybe. What's the time? How annoying would that be? It's twelve. <laughs> it's one a.m. I yeah, <laughs> I know. I want. I've got work tomorrow. Or they go. My car's oh, broken yeah. down. Can I get some breakdown? Come on. It's one a.m. <laughs> you need the exact. What, what do you need from me? You broken down. <laughs> and here's the time. <laughs> this is the time you broke down. Yeah. Bye, sir. Yeah. Let's be. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. oh, I don't know what you do if um one time I broke down and the camera um there was a camera I called. Who did I call? I called like a breakdown thing and then I got put through to the motorway people and they're like, yep, we can see you on the camera. Oh, yeah. And I was like, whoa, you can see me on the camera. Um, and then... Um, Have you ever watched one of those police documentaries? Um, oh, no, so finish off your thing. But I that thought, was it? Yeah, I that, thought so. Terrible story, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to save it because I knew that was <laughs> it. Nothing was coming. But I was like, that no, looks rude. No, nothing, nothing interesting. But the telepathy, it was no. just fine. So Terrible. Have you ever seen those police documentaries? Traffic cops, yeah. I love all police documentaries mm -hmm. and uh, this one specific one I think it's called The Met which by the <laughs> way I'm waiting for them to release a new series the police documentaries are amazing this police documentary it was showcasing how much the police can see in London especially mm. central London and bro if you're in central London trust me you have eyes on you like That's there's crazy. not a corner of central London you'll go to where someone's not watching you on the cameras. Like and there's the, the, all, there's all of these surveillance police. That's just their job, and they're just sitting in their police HQ and they're just watching all the cameras in London. It's mad, bro. Mm. It's mad. So if you ever think you're not being watched, you're being watched e e everywhere. I don't know how it is like out of London, but which is fine, obviously. Yeah, yeah that goes into the argument of the, the nothing to hide kind of argument. Like yeah, it's I think it's the most surveillance city in the world. I remember hearing that. Oh really? I think I heard that one time. Again, I probably am wrong, but um, I you right. it's um, it's like like congestion charge. They get it from your plate, and um, yeah, it's crazy. They, there's probably these cameras. Go, did you get? Did you get caught? Did you get you les? Did you get you les? Congestion, no, no, congestion. Remember, you asked to where I where I work from, and yeah. I said sometimes home, sometimes office, sometimes a coffee sometimes shop. Sometimes central London. The other day, I was yeah. feeling bougie, right? <laughs> and so <laughs> I was like, I'm I'm, tr I'm writing my script for my event next week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm delivering a like one hour keynote, basically about. Mm. I shouldn't say it. Should I? Yeah, fine. I'll Stuff. Say it. Yeah, All of the, basically, it's 250th episodes. And my keynote is about uh, lessons I've learned in uh, 250 episodes. And actually, mm. one of the lessons is from an episode of Me and You. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall I tell you what it is? Go on, then. Fine. I'm, I'm ruining it here, man. No, okay. don't. No. Shall I not? Do. No, no, save it. Save it for the thing. Because then it's like... I'll tell you the title. I'll Go tell, tell the title. Tell the title. Uh, I yeah. I'm not logged in here, but the title is uh, of that of that benefit because it's it's like my top 10 lessons that I've learned in 250 episodes something like that oh, and one of them is um, the, the title of that section is called I don't want avocados and quinoa I want pizza <laughs> <laughs> because I like pizza something yeah, like that yeah I and there's obviously said, remember you said the, that yeah I, I do but there's a greater lesson obviously in that which is sometimes you just want what you want just want what you want yeah. you treat yourself treat yourself don't don't um, don't 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 stress yourself too much. Yeah, sometimes. like come on, have a break. Come on, yeah. Be be easy on yourself sometimes. Um, yeah, physical pressure. So I was uh, so because I wanted yeah. to be creative. Yeah, I was thinking what I want to change the environment. So I went to this um, coffee shop called Shot in Ooh. London in Mayfair. In Mayfair, I did. Ooh, what? <laughs> they had a great. coffee on their menu that was two hundred and twenty-five pounds. Did you see that? No, I got the normal two pound fifty or five pound coffee. Whatever it was five pound coffee. Four pound. It, it was definitely within a five. Yeah, Ooh. or five pound fifty. <laughs> But it was made fair. Okay. But I wanted, I wanted the vibe. So I went to this place. It was really nice. It's called mm. Shot. I would recommend it. It's a lovely coffee shop. It's all black marble and oh, really? really nice. Yeah, you get served really nice and stuff. So uh, I forgot to pay concession charge. And I remembered today. And so I'm going to get an eight pound, 80 pound fine through my door any day. 80 pounds. That's a lot. So you basically paid 82 pound 50 mm. for your coffee. Yeah. Did you get a snack? 85 pound 50. Did you get a little cake? Pounds. Shortbread? I did. I got a hazelnut croissant. croissant. Cross on. Like I asked, eight, I, eight, seven pound fifty. I asked for veggie crisp. <laughs> they said they haven't got it. 
Oh, no. Even though they had it on the menu. And shall I tell you the most embarrassing part of that story? Go on, tell me. I, because normally you go to a coffee shop, which is the coffee shops that we're used to, yeah. or I'm used to. Like you go to Costa, you pay for your coffee, you, they come to your table, you grab it, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm used to. So after I'm done, so I hold my coffee, I'm there for like three hours writing my things, mm. great vibe. The guy next to me, he's also doing some work. He starts chatting to me, but he's like, hey, man, is your, oh. is your plug working? I'm like, yeah, it's working. I was like, no, it's not working. I made a flick switch. I'm like, yeah, he's working then. And then at one point, we had a little <laughs> bond where he goes, Mate, do you want to look over my stuff? I'm just going to go down to the bathroom. I was like, yeah. And then later on, I needed the bathroom. And I was like, hey, man, do you mind looking over my stuff? Like, yeah. yeah. So we had a little conversation there. But for the most part, three hours just typing away. Wrote a great keynote, I must say. Brilliant. Um, then obviously I'm done after yeah. three hours. I walk out and I'm caught, I went on the phone to my wife. And I just thought I'd let her know, hey, I had a great, had a great day here. Yeah. Great piece of writing. And... Someone like taps me on the shoulder and look back. It's like the guy that out of breath is from the from the shot. He goes, You've got to cover your bill. And I was like, Oh my gosh, it looks like I stole as well. Because I'm there in Mayfair in tracksuit bottoms and oh like no. a hoodie. That's so crazy. I already look like if anybody is gonna steal, it's gonna be me. And I walked out without paying. And so it looked like I was stealing, but I genuinely forgot, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. So I went back and I paid and I just I know that it looked like I was probably trying to stealing it. a coffee. Yeah, but I wasn't. But I just forgot because because you normally yeah, you pay leave. and then you, you just play you pay first yeah but obviously probably in a posh area they they yeah they want you to they, rack up your bill don't they oh well, that's true oh I'll get the two hundred twenty five pound coffee two hundred twenty that's mad um I don't I don't like playing paying after I pay up front yeah it's just like oh I can leave whenever I want yeah just relax oh the hard bits out of the way yeah it's weird isn't it it's weird isn't it that's why everyone likes Nando's yeah it's I nice was gonna thing. go Nando's tonight really yeah but I'm so not, I'm not going there now. Haven't been anywhere new. What's your favourite restaurant? Oh, don't do this to me. What's your favourite cuisine and then going to restaurant? Cuisine. Anything with meat and rice. Oh, so you like Somali food? I like Somali food. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, Somali food is good because I, I stayed at Somali. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I stayed at a meat and uh, rice. mosque one year in Hizkaf and that mosque was predominantly Mashallah. had Somali brothers in it. Yeah. And we got Somali food every night mm. and it was phenomenal. It was so nice. I gotta have it again. I gotta have it. Yeah, it was mainly meat and rice, but oh, it's lovely. It's not. Oh man, I'm getting hungry now. What else has got meat and rice? So anything has meat and rice. Anything that's got meat and rice, and it's a spice, a bit spicy as well. So give me a restaurant. What? See, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a food connoisseur. Bread and cheese does it for me. What connoisseur are you? If you had to be a connoisseur of something, what would it be? Ah, uh, you know what? This sounds bad. Fizzy drinks. Really? Fizzy, I really like fizzy drinks. Really? Yeah, I would drink the whole. I was gonna say bar. <laughs> uh, what was it? I have fridge, <laughs> mini fridge. I would, I would, I would, uh, I would drink the whole mini fridge. Okay, come on then. Ranking uh, t best okay. fizzy drink to worst fizzy drink. Top one of all time. Go on. Pepsi Max Lemon Twist. Really? It's a bit exotic. I've never heard but of it's lemon refreshing. twist. Refreshing. Yeah, they did one at one point. I think from that, um, probably. Fanta fruit twist. I was gonna say Fanta fruit yeah, twist. Yeah, it's fruit it's a bit it's a bit like punchy and yeah, it's, it's a bit classic. it's a bit nice. And the bottle is a different shape, which is cool. Yeah, that is um, true. And then third's got to be Sprite. Do you prefer drinking out of can or bottle? It depends. When I got a glass bottle, I feel really like yeah. I'm in an advert. I actually <sighs> yeah. uh, have glass bottle uh, Coke Zeros at my house probably pretty much all the time. Why glass? For when guests come, I feel like it's nice to serve them a glass bottle. Hey, do you, how Coke. do you have a can opener? I, I mean, bottle opener. So I discovered You that smash on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> I discovered that my can opener yeah. uh, doubles as a, um, as a bottle opener. It has a bottle opening function. Nice. Oh, nice. So I agree with you. So go and carry on. So that, um, uh, you got... That's top three. Coke. Uh, Pepsi with twist. Pepsi, Coke, Coke, Pepsi Max with lemon twist. Fan of fruit twist, sprite, sprite, a nice no. You know what? Seven up, not sprite. Seven up is. Okay. Um, those are top three, and then you know what? Iron brew goes in there somewhere. Iron mm -hmm. brew is a bit nice. I do like iron brew. I've never tasted iron brew. Iron brew is nice. Iron Have you had iron brew before? Iron I nice. I read it as iron brew. Well, because it <laughs> says I R N brew, and then also I think probably the Scottish the Scots probably pronounce it iron brew. I don't know how they pronounce it. <laughs> That's important, I never thought it? about that. Um, Dr. Pepper's in there. I've what flavour is Dr. Pepper? Do you know what flavour Dr. Pepper is? I've never had a Dr. Pepper. I don't know. what is a raspberry. I don't know. Dr. Pepper's in there. Um, yeah, I don't like Fanta Orange. Really? It's a bit strange. What about Fanta Lemon? There's a Fanta Lemon. You know what you have Fanta Lemon? Is there Fanta Lemon? Yeah. Never had that. You don't get it everywhere and anywhere, but it, it exists. Um, and on a special occasion, Schler. Yeah. Schler. 
Have you had the schlur that you pop? No, is there no, like a... Schlur is nice. I like schlur. There's not a lot in that bottle, though. No, it's not. It's a lot of fizz. It's a lot of fizz. Um, but yeah, fizzy drinks connoisseur. That's scary. Isn't yeah, it? I, don't I, I don't even know what it is. Um, fizzy drinks connoisseur. Um, yeah, yeah. What are you connoisseur? At? Like, I mean, real connoisseur, not like, oh, I like a decaf. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm connoisseur. You can say yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know you get. Don't say coffee. Okay. Uh, <laughs> First of all, can I just say that um, do you, know, you know the hotel that I'm staying at in Manchester. Yeah. What's the first thing you do when you book, when you book a hotel? When you look into book a hotel? Um, I ch I chuck stuff on the bed. I oh, know. Before you oh, arrive sorry. at a hotel, <laughs> you're, you're you're trying to book a hotel. Yeah. Or you just booked a hotel. Yeah. What do you do? I've I've just booked it. Yeah, you're still at home in London right now. I don't I, know. I take the delivery options for that hotel. What? Yeah, I want to see what's around. And so I did that. Tim By Hortons. the way, Tim Hortons is <laughs> on there. No, or is it Krispy Kreme? Oh, is it's it? Kreme, maybe. Faraz, Faraz and I uh, travelled to uh, Birmingham a few weeks back and uh, I got us some Tim Hortons for breakfast, some Timbits. Oh, that's Tim. nice. That's nice. So anyway, uh, nice. this place in Manchester, mm. they have a place that delivers to it that's called like Just Nutters or something. Just Nutters. I guess what it is. It's Just Nutters. Mm. You know the Nutters, like from uh, Nando's, like the Naughty Nutters? What the is Portuguese Nutter. Are you saying nata? What's a nata? nata dill nata? Nata, nata. nata. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Are you saying nut like a pasta dill nata? I don't know. Like the a pasta. The, the thing. Now I don't know what I'm saying. N Are you saying nata? Like a pastry. Like the yeah, pastry. Portuguese pastry. Yeah, yeah, Portuguese okay. pastry. Sorry, but what did I say? Pas you said nata. Like you're a nutter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. Well, how, do, how do you pronounce that? Nata. I don't. Can, can, what does it say? What does it say on it there? It says the difference between pastel de nata and pastel de Pas belém. Yeah, you just said nata though. So nata. It, it, okay. sounded, it was a bit confusing. Now, <laughs> now I was Anyway, like, there's a place called Just Nata. Yeah. And oh, that's I all see. it does. They're really popular. They're really popular. But they have one product. It's amazing though. It's like, it's like, it's I doubt, I doubt great it's a dessert. shop then. It must be, you know, you have these like, uh, oh, like a stand, industrial, a stand. industrial kitchens mm. with stands or something. I, I doubt it would be a whole. We'll find out. I'm probably going to make You're going to go there. When are you going tomorrow? Monday, you want to come? Monday. I have a work, so I it was <laughs> going cream at the moment. She's got me and me and Kay. More nice. than welcome. It's gonna be a fun trip. You're gonna stop over service station. What uh, do you do at service station? Well, it's, it's about five hours. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it? it's oh, a long three and a half. No, it's about f it's no, I reckon you could do it in four. You could do it. Four. Depends how long if you, you stop, stop. If you stop, you're gonna stop. Yeah, going Monday morning. Mm. Uh, got some. Snacks? Oh, I'm sorry. I've no. I've got. I'm trying to guess. You can say meetings and stuff. Okay. Mm. Freshly grounded stuff. Freshly grounded you know, yeah, stuff. Behind the scenes stuff. stuff. Interesting and stuff. Like, we got some uh, venue viewings and stuff we're doing for the Interesting. Tour. Yeah. Um, and then we got a meeting as well in the evening. So it was like a dinner meeting. And I actually said to the guy, I said, we've got viewings during the day. So any time from early evening is fine. Yeah. And so that means 6 p.m. in my head. Yeah. So what did he think? Well, we, he just he just said, like, sounds good, kind of see you on Monday. So I'm thinking, oh my God, what time are <laughs> What is early evening? What's early 8 p.m.? What's 8 p.m.? Evening. 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 So and then what, like so nine, late, ten is late evening. Ten is no, late. No, nine is not late. No, ten evening. is late evening. Ten, eleven is so late. What's evening. night? What's night time? It's just a, that's just a synonym for evening. D night. No, it's not. There's no, no difference between evening and night. It's a synonym. No. What's that's why that's oh. why that's why you say yeah around that sort of time. Of, around yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. Mark 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 time is yeah. early evening. Isha time is evening. No. Isha time is no. night. Maghrib is evening. Maghrib now. So when Maghrib was at eight thirty, you're telling me Maghrib was was early evening. Yeah, I need. Yeah, I need. Yeah. When, <laughs> when do you stop eating? I would say the evening starts around five. No, when do you have dinner? When do you have? When do you have your final day meal? I'm, I'm about seven thirty. Yeah, so that's that's like your dinner, supper. That's that's yeah. the, must be the middle of evening. So anything before seven thirty is early evening. I would. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything after must be late. The evening. night would start around ten eleven. I guess what we're saying mm. is it's subjective. It's subjective. So, uh, so you should have you should have said you should have said I'm free after six pm. <laughs> yeah, six pm. No, but I think that <laughs> I think that it's obvious. So like, you know, I could have written I, I should have written right. yeah uh, <laughs> for free early evening in brackets. Of course, we know that six pm. Close <laughs> 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 bracket. Like, in that accent, it's all in accent. Uh, so I, I've got I've got, I've got dinner meeting. Uh, with a potential partner for. Do you feel self conscious when eating when you got a dinner meeting? Because I would eat with my hands. I would eat mess. I'll drop food on myself. <laughs> I do. I, I had do a dinner a meeting bit. recently. I don't often have dinner meetings, but mm. I did have one 
a few weeks ago and yeah, you don't know what to do with your hands. You don't know like, are we going for stars or grab? Are you going to get the pitta? Are we going to put in your, can I put in your hummus? Or put, should we put eat a bit of hummus in oh, individual plates? It, the dynamics get a bit confusing. Yeah, and it's like, if I'm eating, I can't talk. So should I talk and then eat or eat and then talk? Like, how fast do you eat? Who finishes yeah. first? Then you, you're sat there. It was a lot. You start the conversation about what you're actually about there the, for. Yeah, yeah, that, what is yeah. it? The small talk. There's a lot of small how talk. How you been? Oh, small right, talk's the stuff. worst, isn't oh, it? What do you want to get? So when do you actually get down to the nitty gritty? Yeah. After the after you the food, what? Kareem, in between Kareem, courses? as you probably know, is actually a really great communicator. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in like meeting mm. settings and stuff. Oh he's really? A, yeah, because he's a, incredibly empathetic. He understands the other person. Yeah. And so he's quite good at what Kareem does is he he lets the conversation flow naturally into that. Whereas I'm like so, <laughs> so <awkward>. about <laughs> this deal, <laughs> I'm like so awkward. So I was like, I, was, I knew you had a mean car. I was like, Cream, you're free on Monday. I, no, I, I made sure as soon as it, when it was just the viewings, I was going to go by myself. I've, I, I think like, I'm, I'm, you know, I've done all the viewings by myself pretty much. But um, this time, because I knew we had a meeting, I was like, I'm going to make because Cream's um, he's better. Plus, that's his department. He deals with like mm. um, that kind, that, those things. So. Uh, but you're more than welcome for us if you're not doing anything but uh, it's a, it's a, we've got twin room at the moment uh, but I will <laughs> happily sleep on the floor if you want to come and you can have my bed <laughs> so, I, mean, I mean that honestly if you want to come mm. I will be getting uh, some donuts in the morning delivered okay yeah, so. No, so it won't be Timbits this and we time. are staying in a very nice hotel oh. really so, uh, might join do you have access, um, <laughs> access to the spa and the gym uh, I tr- so basically <laughs> I went to the hotel I tried booking the junior suite because it's phenomenal and I said I want to get the junior suite but you've only got a king size bed in there can you do two twin beds mm. and uh, by the way I-, I make it sound so bougie the twin, the junior suite was really not expensive because we we're, we're, it was like a normal hotel room price because we because first of all all the hotel prices were around the same because we're going at a, a non Peak uh, time. Peak time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you get really good deals. Anything, so yeah. I don't want to make it sound like we're paying £200 a room. It wasn't. Uh, I think it was like a normal room was like £90 and like it was like 100 for like the junior suite. So I was like, of course. It's well, what's what's the difference between a junior suite? That sounds like a, a children's room. It's like an apartment. Okay. And so I was like, I want to get a junior suite, but um, you only have a king size bed. Is there any chance you could put like two single beds in there or like you can split the bed up? Cause Sometimes they give you a sofa beds. bed with it. You'll give you a king bed and a sofa bed. Yeah, they didn't. Oh, they you didn't so you I just booked a standard twin room. Why do they call it junior? That sounds weird. Okay. Junior suite is like but it it's makes like it less the king's suite. It makes it less enticing. They should call, they should call it prince yeah. or. Yeah, it's nice though. Junior suite. Yeah, yeah. Joker. <laughs> suite. Joker suite. I'll take the Joker suite, please. <laughs> mm, do like a good hotel room, a good one. You should Are do you a hotel connoisseur. No, I, I, mean, I say like a bunch of great hotels. I haven't, but anytime like you know you have got free upgrades. Like, oh, this is. I see why people pay extra extra for this. Mm. Which, what my favorite thing about hotel rooms is the bathroom, shower. That's my favorite thing. My favorite thing is shower. Shower, having a nice shower. What if they have a bath? I don't have a bath. Oh, you don't have a bath. No. I wouldn't feel comfortable having a, a bath in a hotel. You don't know how clean mm. it is. Have you seen that documentary that showed like how dirty things are actually in the hotel? Yeah, room? yeah, it's actually disgusting. And apparently, the TV room is like yeah, TV room it's really the disgusting. Worst, yeah. yeah. I yeah. don't know what I'm a connoisseur of. I forgot we were talking about that. Yeah. I Maybe, I would, uh, maybe like... Nappies? Uh, maybe chocolate, something chocolate. dessert, or chocolate related. Interesting. Perhaps. Yeah. Um, you're making me really hungry now. Have you eaten, by the way? I have eaten. That's good. I have eaten. I've yeah. got a dinner after this. Oh, we get an order. Is it buffet? <laughs> oh, is it? Uh, I, I, I don't like buffets. Do you, you know, like buffets? The quality is yeah. subpar, but... You, sometimes there's one good thing and you can just eat all of it. So Because they, they make so much. So they're not going to make anything great. Mm. They're going to make everything standard. But some buffets, they make things on request. So uh. the best dishes, I don't know, like lamb chops or something, you'll have to go and say, yeah, can I, can you make I don't it? Think, I, think I'm, I don't think I'm going to do that kind of buffet. No, they, that, they have that. Though. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh. It's interesting. No, I feel, I feel too like... Oh, can I just request uh, no, that, for the chef to make me a special? <laughs> one? No, it's, it's in the line. You just wait there and he'll just. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, maybe. I like omelette bars. You sometimes you have that. I've been omelette to a hotel. Bar. Like, oh, no, yeah. omelette, omelette. Is that breakfast bar? Omelette I love bar. breakfast, breakfast bar. Omelette bar? Yeah. Breakfast, bre- is that a thing? Breakfast bar? Like a, ser- breakfast, like a cereal bar. Bre- you know when the chef makes you the eggs in oh, front yeah, of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's oh. that called? It's just breakfast. Just breakfast, yeah? Okay. You're at a hotel and you're going breakfast. I thought it was like a name for it. We can make a name for it. It's omelette bar now. Omelette bar. Omelette bar, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. How would you like your uh, eggs? Okay. Can I have a fried egg? Something's up with this. The omelette bar, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't know, you can have an omelette. <laughs> you just refuse service. Yeah. 
<laughs> you can't just make you. Omelets are great. Omelets are actually. Oh, yeah. I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> yeah. Omelets are great. Would you say breakfast is your favorite meal? Uh, no, of the day? I, I never have breakfast. I just oh. have coffee in the morning. I have, you have coffee in the stomach. I can't do I, that. I, I can. Oh. I, so, I had two straight today. Coffee is it? You coffee is it straight one after the other? Yeah, I had a. You got an espresso machine, right? Indeed, we discussed this on the last episode. Virtu- you, you got, got virtual. You got virtual. Virtu- I don't know why I'm doing that accent. <laughs> you got an espresso virtual. Um, <laughs> 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 um, I got an espresso virtual. Um, no, that's not even how you pronounce it. So last it. time we spoke, you had the sample pack still because you hadn't finished the pods. Have oh, you now that, invested in I more pods? I destroyed those. I mean, yeah. destroyed them. I used them all. Yeah. Um, I've um, I've st- what? So this is. I got. I had a Stormio. Okay, great. I had a st- strong. Then I had a half decaffeinato. So I had I mixed it up. Like wow. I had a strong one to start me off. Then I went back and pegged it to down a peg. My favorite one right now is called uh, Blanco Leggero or something, and it's a shot of cream. It's a creamy shot of coffee. Really, wow. it's really nice. Just a shot. It's just like, and I've got a little espresso mug. So I've got a mug that's like the size of like like you have to hold it like that. It's yeah, really small. It's just a shot. You just smash the shot. Yeah, well I don't you smash do. it. I drink it really slowly over time. I think in Italy you just. You just yeah. on, the, down on the topic of coffees, I don't, I don't know anything about coffees, but when I hear about coffees, it's very chocolatey. There's an like ice caramel, this, and I hate no, yeah, stuff. I hate what that. Stuff. Stuff. And you just said That's blanco, it. I don't know, but does that mean white? Are there a lot, are there a lot of calories yeah, in coffees? So. No, 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 coffee's low cal, oh, mm, very low cal. Like for me, again, this is not fitness advice. If I'm really hungry, oh, look, I shouldn't eat now, I'd have a coffee because it suppresses your appetite a bit as well. I, I can't have coffee on an empty stomach. Coffee for me is a dessert. <laughs> He washes down the I food. D- I don't know what to say. I don't know what to st- coffee. Very, very bitter dessert. You're very yeah. Very weird dessert as well. Do you like coffee chocolate? You must do. No, uh, what's that? Oh no, coffee uh, chocolate. No, not really. I like coffee cake. Coffee cake. <laughs> I <laughs> tell you what, bro. I don't. I, now that Fawaz brought up, I don't like flavored coffees. I, no, I didn't like because when I have a coffee. I want it to be bitter. You want the I beans? Tr- yeah, I want. I want to. I'm. 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 Mm. I, I fancy a coffee. I don't fancy a, a creamy milk. Like, you don't want a milkshake. Milk. Yeah, milkshake. I don't want a uh, milkshake. A, co- a coffee is meant to be light. No, heavy, heavy. heavy. Strong. Yeah, it's supposed to be so like. How would you have a heavy? Why would you have dark roast? Yeah, dark roast. Why would you have a heavy coffee at the, after your meal? Yeah, that's weird. That's why people have like they have like the Turkish tea because it's Washes it's light and it just yeah. digests everything. <laughs> or just have water or a sprite or this array of fizzy drinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fanta lemon. Fanta lemon. No, I, I, in the morning, I have breakfast. <laughs> I actually have breakfast so that I can have a coffee in the mornings. I look forward to coffee in the morning. So do I. Yeah. It's the best coffee is the coffee in the morning. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But, 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 yeah. Do you think it does anything for you anymore? Like in terms of waking you up? I don't think it has any effect. I don't think so. I, I've, had, I've, I've numerous times had a coffee before bed and been fine. Sleeping, mm. so. I really like to do that. I think it does do something in the morning though. Mm. Do you struggle in Ramadan when you can't have a coffee? Oh, I give you bad headaches. Me yeah, too, me yeah, too. Yeah, it's... um. I've got something coming up uh, for which I can't have coffee for three days. Long three Can you days. not even decaf? I guess I guess I could have a decaf actually, what but that it? doesn't do anything for me. The the decaf, it's just a placebo though. You might, it'll give yeah. you I like a nice something. decaf like in the middle of the day or at the end of the day when I've already had two coffees and I don't want to mm. have it, so I have a decaf. But, uh, but yeah. caffeinated obviously takes away the headaches, doesn't it? We're talking like addicts, yeah. Yeah, take away the headaches. Um, sometimes the energy... Fizzy drink, Fanta <laughs> lemon, maybe. I've got to try Fanta lemon. It might actually might be nice. Um, no, fizzy drinks are bad for your teeth, as is coffee. So I don't. Coffee's really bad for your teeth. I, I went to get my teeth whitened. No, you wouldn't yeah. get them whitened. It was a gift from my wife. No, that's a great yeah, gift. Yeah, it's a really nice gift. And uh, I didn't know you could me, do that. He was like, he was like, do you want to go get your teeth like professionally cleaned and then come get them whitened? Because they'd be more effective. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm here now. But he said, do you drink a lot of coffee? I was like, yeah. He's like, don't. Mm. Or drink for the straw? Yeah, no. You can't. You got. That, you can't it, do that. No, you can't. It takes away the whole. Yeah, I'd rather stay in teeth. But yeah. he. But he but <laughs> do you know what, bro? He, he, I wasn't allowed to have coffee after that for about 24, 48 hours. That, and oh. that was really tough. And even after that, I had to drink it through a straw for a bit. Because the, the, the thing that's on your teeth after you get your teeth whitened is like really easily stained. So you cannot have any coloured foods. You can't have that's like all sauces. Food. Yeah. What did you eat? I had to eat like rice and I can't remember now, man. Maybe like veggie fingers and potato waffles or something. Potato waffles. Yeah. I love a good potato waffle. A good waffles, yeah. Oh, can't man. be a good potato waffle. Yeah. Wh- wh- what's a pot- oh, Hang on, wait. No, I'm trying to think. Bread is what normal waffles are made out of. 
No, what's it made out of? What was it? What? My, my accent went American with. <laughs> what is it made out of? What made out of? What is it? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are waffles made? They're syrup. Butter. Butter. Yeah. It's not bread. No, it's butter. Is that pancake butter? Pancake butter. So it's like a cake. What am I? Yeah, it's like a cake. A waffle is a cake. It, what is a cake? Mm. Grilled? <laughs> is that it's right? It's a grilled cake. It's a grilled cake. That's technically what it is. Yeah. Yeah, uh, true. It's a type of grilled cake. <laughs> we are really breaking we some barriers it, here. We should everyone. call it grilled cake. Grilled cake. Do you want some grilled cake? What is that? It's a waffle. Well, I don't understand that in America and now, naturally, a lot in England as well, uh, all these restaurants do chicken and waffles, but it doesn't go. Have you had chicken waffles? I you? have. What it's is it a, like? It's like sweet and then savory. And then it's hard to eat because I want to pick it up like a sandwich. Like waffle is the bread. Wow. But people eat with a knife and fork and I don't like eating with a knife and fork. I feel... I feel restricted. We had a lot of comments on our, one of our episodes that we did together where we spoke about a knife and fork and people were like, like you shouldn't eat with a knife and fork because like, eating with the hands is a sauna. There was a lot of comments about like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I just don't like the... You, I can't utilise these tools together. Yeah. It comes to like... Some Spaghetti. Or something soupy. Um, you, just gotta, you just gotta do it. It's with your hands? No, with oh. the fork, with the fork, with the fork. <laughs> fork. Um, noodles is um, noodles are a bit tricky, but you can't eat any other way. So it's your forced. To How do you, you eat your sushi? Uh, with my hands. Wait, not with no I went in. I went to Japan. I had to use the chopsticks. Did you um, go to Tokyo? I went to Tokyo. No yeah. way! How is he? Are we? It was amazing. It was really? amazing. Yeah, I don't know where the restrictions are like now, but amazing place to go. Everyone's so nice. I heard. Amazing, great place to go. Um, sushi, sushi there is insane. Oh, oh it is. It's like they got it out of the sea. And it's it's amazing. Not like Tesco meal deal, sushi. Have you had that? I had I, it, I had we've it talked once. about this before. Yeah, I once cooked me of sushi for months. It's um it's not the same level, obviously. Oh. It's the only sushi I've had. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the only sushi. Oh. Yeah. Tesco no. and uh, Lidl. <laughs> well, as you know what? <laughs> On the event next week, are you driving or how are you getting that? I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Central. It's okay. in Islington. Okay. Me and that's uh, not Central. It feels like it's like, it's like <laughs> King's Cross. Like, it's like King's Cross. It kind of. It's Central not like Union. Central, like. It's not like Big Ben. No, yeah. Islington. Anyway, um, mine and Cream's. Uh, me and Cream have a. I know it's mug of time. We have to. Uh, me and Cream have a ritual. After every event, we go for really nice sushi. We reward ourselves because we oh, work hard for the event. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And so even though this house show is like a small event. Uh, you still need to reward yourself. We might. Yeah, no, yeah. you have to reward. You have to uh, give yourself a pat on the back. Uh, by the way, bro, please come down to this event. Where is it? Islington. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you going to be there? Um, I don't know what day it is. Next Friday, 8.30pm. I could come, actually. I might actually be able to come. I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> Tickets are sold out. If I just turn up, would you turn me away? But I won't be at the door, but we can... Would someone turn me away? Of course they wouldn't. You're Adam African, you're on the podcast. Wait, you see if for those... People, one of the points... Someone one definitely of the points would turn me away. Own. Is it going to be shown live? No. So when's it going to come out? Uh, episode? For episode 250, which is going to be the week after. Oh, so next ep- next week is 249. That's correct. Oh, okay. It's so you're going to have an episode released on that day while you're mid-live on stage? Yeah, that's correct. correct. Okay. Yeah. You can release this at 249. Is it this episode? No, oh, this is know. coming out tonight. Okay, wow. Well, yeah. okay. This is coming out straight after. In I fact, should, I should know this. Before, I should know this, yeah. but yeah. Mm. Adam Afghan. Good evening. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always, having you on the podcast. I've mentioned it every episode, so I shall mention it again. You're my favourite guest on Fresh and Gandhi. You are my favourite host. And I knew have a favourite producer, too. <laughs> yeah, you know your favourite producer. There you go. <laughs> uh, lovely to be here. Anytime. Uh, thank you so much. Please come more regularly, bro. I will. I will. Um, Is that promise? I'll try. I'll, honestly, inshallah, I'll come more regularly. We can talk about what didn't even forget we even talked about today, but we'll just talk. I would love to have you here every week. Every week, <sighs> maybe. I could. Could I'll, you you commit to once a month? I might be able to commit to once a month. Let's Depends try. What we could m- might be able to do that. No, we're in September. Yeah. Just come back to me for an October date later. I could try to do that. Inshallah. If the viewers Second want part. it, they may just like get him off because we don't talk about. Because most of the, the, the guests are more serious. They're like, come here with a, a story. Yeah, with a story. I'm just like, I should we talk about pizza again? I think like, people like that, man. I think okay, people okay. just want to turn a podcast on. They want to feel like the third person in the room. They just want to have a laugh. Okay, I can do that. I can um, I can talk. You can you you make me laugh. Alhamdulillah, that's. Um, I think you make the guests laugh. Hopefully, the, sorry. The if it's beneficial, that's great. Yeah, 
but laughter is very beneficial. It's very, very, it's very beneficial. Yeah, it's good medicine. It's great medicine. Um, again, not a doctor, so don't take my advice on any no. medicine or fitness, um, or anything in that matter. Um, no, BJJ. <laughs> BJ, I'm, I'm not very good. I get beaten up all the time. Um, you're, but you're the best jujitsu guy in this room. That's just fact. <sighs> Ash could have taught you some really cool stuff. So, I'm the I can't remember. He taught me how to get out of a triangle once, and don't remember how. Okay. How do you get out of a triangle quickly? I mean, posture up. Posture up. Posture up. Okay. Yeah. That's it, and you're out. You no, know, you're not out. It's a lot no, of some work. Yeah, posture yeah. Up, posture up, and you're posture out. up. Guys, cool. this has been Fisher Grand episode 248. Thank you so much, Adam Akram, for joining us. Thank you so much, Fisher Walls, for helping us produce. And we'll see you soon. <laughs> see you soon. <laughs> <laughs>